You may not realize it, but some of the world's most popular food and drinks were created entirely by accident. Anyone who makes a living out of inventing things will tell you that it's a messy and challenging process. It's uncommon for someone to have an idea for something, develop it flawlessly on the first try, and bring it to market precisely as they imagined. There's a lot of trial and error, and sometimes one of those trials or errors leads to a product that's radically different from what was intended but also significantly superior. In this video, we'll be checking out the top 10 food items that were invented accidentally. But first, subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell to get notified whenever a new video is uploaded. Some foods, well, maybe most, and drinks were the result of genuine inventiveness, with years of fine-tuning and perfecting following the initial light bulb moment. Others were the consequence of, well, dropping something into the deep fryer accidentally. It's impossible to verify whether or not all of these stories are totally genuine. We make sure to indicate when this is the case. Still, legend has it that all the following dishes and drinks were invented purely by accident. Yogurt, for example, is manufactured by combining bacteria and enzymes with milk and was most likely invented by chance by Central Asian goat herders in the 6th century BC. They'd keep goat's milk in animal stomachs, which would offer the bacteria and enzymes needed to transform it into a thick and tangy concoction that lasted longer than fresh milk and finally reached its logical apotheosis, frozen yogurt. Number 10. Popsicles We suppose this brings happy childhood memories. This isn't a coincidence that this food item is trendy among children. In 1905, 11-year-old Frank Epperson left a glass of soda on his porch along with its mixing stick on a cold night, and when he returned the following day, it had transformed into a block of flavored ice with a handy handle poking out of it. When he took a bite, he knew he had something special on his hands. Epperson distributed his epsicles across the area, eventually selling them at amusement parks. Epperson patented his creation, which he termed the epsicle. 18 years later, the name was changed to popsicle because his children couldn't get used to the word and referred to them as popsicles. Epperson couldn't afford to keep the firm, so he sold it and later claimed that he never received any financial compensation for his idea. Number 9. Potato Chips how do you like your french fries, thick or very thin? Well, we have a picky diner to thank for this one. In 1853, as legend has it, a customer at the hotel called Moon's Lake House in the resort town of Saratoga Springs, New York, complained that his fried potatoes weren't crispy enough and sent them back to the kitchen. A man named George Crum worked as a chef at this opulent resort. According to the Snack Food Association, while the restaurant's french fries were a success, one customer complained that they were too thick. Yep, you're right, it's always that one customer. Ugh. The picky diner grumbled about the thickness and texture of the fries again when Crum made another narrower batch. According to the SFA, Crum's third attempt resulted in fries that were far too paper thin and crispy to consume with a fork in an attempt to irritate the picky customer. Crum understood he had a hot commodity on his hands when the customer was pleasantly surprised by the outcome. According to the SFA, Crum named his crispy guilty pleasure Saratoga Chips, which were sold in restaurants around the East Coast and eventually made their way into grocery stores by 1895. Number 8. Cheese Curls Let me tell you something. Did you know without a piece of equipment called an extruder, which pushes a slurry of grain mash or dough through a funnel into a required shape, cheese curls, numerous breakfast cereals, several types of pasta, and many other meals would not be possible? Well, now you do. The extruder that brought us cheese curls was initially designed to crush grain for animal feed. When Edward Wilson, a Facal Company employee, noticed that wet corn kernels, which were put through the machine to keep it from clogging, were emerging from the ground in a tube-like shape, he took some home, fried them, and discovered they tasted great. Wilson formed cheese curls after this experiment. Number 7. Champagne Another question for you, pal. Do you drink champagne? If you answered yes, what is the cause of the bubbles in this expensive drink? Well, you're about to find out. The carbon dioxide bubbles were an unintended side effect of an unwanted secondary fermentation caused by, among other things, the region's colder climate. The delicate glass bottles would explode as a result of the bubbles destroying large quantities of wine. However, after the development of a more substantial glass bottle, it was discovered that the resulting golden effervescent liquid was actually delightful and champagne was born. 
Another theory is that most people credit Dom Perignon with the invention of champagne, even though this is unproven. The Benedictine monk was in charge of managing the abbey's wine production. He was requested to remove bubbles that had formed in a few of the wines. He couldn't, so he took a sip of the frothy drink instead. Come swiftly, I am drinking the stars, Perion is believed to have remarked. Don't miss out on these words that were created by accident. Number 6. Ice Cream Cones What comes to mind when you see or hear ice cream? Well, we can tell you that eating ice cream makes the average human being happy. The ice cream cone was created by a chance meeting of two food sellers and the 1904 St. Louis World's Fair. One selling ice cream in cups and the other selling Middle Eastern pastries, one of which was thin and crispy akin to a waffle. When the ice cream vendor ran out of cups to serve his ice cream in, the pastry vendor wrapped up a waffle into a cone to assist him and the ice cream cone was born by accident. Number 5. Coca-Cola Another food item that is associated with happiness, the average human being sees Coke as a stress reliever. But do most know the origin of this refreshing beverage? Well, you are in for a shock. Coca-Cola was created in Atlanta in 1886 by John Stith Pemberton, an American pharmacist. Pemberton was injected during the Battle of Columbus, which contributed to his addiction to morphine. To help him overcome his addiction, Pemberton experimented with painkillers to see whether they might be used as a drug-free solution to his addiction. After a series of experiments, he was able to make syrup from coca leaves and coca wines. He dubbed the syrup Pemberton's French wine coca, but because of alcohol prohibition in 1886, a non-alcoholic version of the mix was created dubbed Coca-Cola. Number 4. Worcestershire Sauce Worcestershire sauce was created by accident in the town of Worcestershire, England around 1835. Lord Marcus Sandy, the former governor of Bengal, England, returned to England and commissioned drugstore owners John Lee and William Perrins to recreate it. However, due to the pungent odor of the sauce from the vegetable and fish mixture, they decided to store it in the basement and forgot about it for two years. The maturing process altered the sauce's flavor and it became an instant hit with the customers. Number 3. Nachos During World War II, a cuisine was accidentally created which is now appreciated by people all over the world. Ignacio Anea, a maitre at the Victory Club in Piedras Negras, Mexico, near Fort Duncan, had the opportunity to welcome a group of hungry American soldier wives. Anea decided to serve totopos as an appetizer by topping it with grated cheese and sliced jalapenos. The dish was given the moniker nachos after Anea's nickname. Number 2. Chocolate Chip Cookies In 1930, Ruth Wakefield, the owner of a successful restaurant called the Toll House Inn in Massachusetts, is credited with creating the chocolate chip cookie. The origin story of this famous cookie has a few distinct variations. After running out of baker's chocolate, Wakefield replaced Nestle's semi-sweet chocolate in cookies, thinking they'd melt. Another claims that the vibrations from a huge mixer dislodged Nestle's chocolate from the shelf above it, dropping the chocolate into the batter by accident. Wakefield was a talented baker and most likely knew what she was doing, therefore both of these reports could be false. Either way, chocolate chip cookies have gone down as being a happy accident. Number 1. Cornflakes In the late 1800s, there was a tendency among Seventh-day Adventists to keep a bland vegetarian diet. It was also during this period that Dr. John Harvey Kellogg and his brother, Will Keith Kellogg, ran a sanatorium in Battle Creek, Michigan. When they were seeking items to offer their patients that were totally vegetarian, they left wheat berries boiling in the kitchen which caused the kernels to flake. They kept experimenting with this new breakfast snack, finally experimenting with corn and developing the cornflakes we know and love today. This has to be the most remarkable coincidence ever. Or maybe not. We have made it to the end of this video, so what do you think? Do we miss any other foods invented by accident? Please let us know in the comment section. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you drop a like and subscribe, oh, and turn on post notifications. Now, if you'll excuse me, thank you for watching, I'll see you in the next video.